Hi, my name is Kelly McElligott, and I'm here to show you how to set up your Serial subscription in Koha. Serial subscriptions are actually um, subscriptions linked to a bib record. So before we start, you want to make sure you have a bib record that you'd like to create a subscription to. I'm going to pop over to my Serials module, and right here it starts with a new search. You can search your subscriptions with the ISSN number or with a title. I'm going to start a brand new subscription, so I'm going to click New Subscription. The purpose of the new subscription is to allow Koha to figure out and predict your subscription patterns. So we're going to put some information about our subscription in here. The first line is asking for a vendor. If this is something you would like to set up, you can. This is not a mandatory field for the subscription serial module. This would allow Koha to send notices to your vendor when your issues are late. So if this is something or not received. So if this is something you'd like to set up, then you would go ahead and put your vendor information in here. I will bypass that and I'll go right to my record. So I'm going to go ahead and search for my record. I'm going to go ahead and search for my serial. And here it is, my cooking light. I'm going to go ahead and choose that. Now the next question is if you um, circulate individual issues of your subscription, then you would need you would choose the create an item record when receiving this serial. If you do not circulate individual issues, you can go ahead and do not create. I'm going to go ahead and say yes, I'm going to create an item record when receiving this serial. My next question is if there's a regular issue, should I skip that issue number or keep this issue number? I generally find that they keep issue numbers when there's irregular, so I'm going to go ahead and keep the issue number. This is something you can go back and change at a later date. You can go ahead and put the call number that your library uses. Select the library that you want it to be in. The public note is any um, note that you would like this, the public to see on the OPAC. The non-public note would be anything for the staff to see on the staff client. We have that option for routing lists with periodical serial subscriptions. So if you did have routing lists set up with patrons that would like to see the magazines before they start circulating, then that's what this patron notification is. Location in the library. So you're going to fill this out. This item type and item type for older issues, if you don't circulate your current issue, but you circulate your past issues, then this gives you the opportunity to put um, the non-circulating periodical on that first issue that you're receiving, and then the item type for older issues would be your standard periodical. I go into more detail about this in another video with the system preference make previous available make previous serial available. So if you wanted to look into that, there's another video on that. There's a few more steps required to do this. The grace period. This would allow, if you were to setting up your claim notices to your vendors, this would tell Koha, Koha how long to wait before the subscription was considered missing. So generally, um, I'm going to say 14 days. So if, if I know that I get the subscription on the first of the month or right around there, then if by you know day 14, it's pretty much late. So then a, a note could go to my vendor if I wanted to set that up. This is number of issues to display to staff. This is how many you want it to show on the staff client. There's always that opportunity to show more. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show 12. And then to the public, I'll show 12 as well. This is going to give me a pop-up saying that since I didn't um, enter any vendor information that I can't actually send a notice to a vendor. Um, but that is fine, you can bypass that. This next step is the planning of your serial. So you're gonna start with your first 
subscription and this says first issue publication date. This is saying what is the first issue that is in your hand as you start this new subscription. So I'm going to say that this is um, the February. Now how often does the serial come? I'm going to say that my serial comes once a month but you could have every week, every, once every two weeks, once a year. Now how long have you subscribed to this magazine for? Is it number of issues you've purchased, number of weeks, or number of months? So I'm going to say we have this as a two-year subscription and this is when the subscription starts. So I'll, I'm going to say today it starts on that February 1st. The subscription end date will be a date that is filled in for you given how long your subscription length is. Now we have our numbering pattern. How does your serial number the issues? Is it by month and season? Is it just by number? Is it by volume, number, and issue? So you have multiple, multiple options. I'm going to go ahead. This is a volume number issue. This locale would be if it was um, in not in English. So we're going to keep that plain. So I am actually holding volume number 30, number 2. Now this inner counter is going to say how many issues came before this this year. So I'm going to say just one. The best part to do is you could test your prediction pattern. The prediction pattern will have will show what Koha believes is the, the planning of this serial. So you can see that volume 30 number 3 would be my March. And then um, it is saying that in January it's going to go to volume 31 and then restart at 1. If your subscription does have a little bit more um, different nuances than this one, there is an advanced pattern and you can go ahead and fill that out. But since I said to Koha that this is a 12 12 issues a month, which is 10, 12 months, once a month, then it has decided that this is prediction pattern. There are definitely a lot of different ways that um, serials are structured. We have a lot of examples in the Koha manual as well to help you with this. I'm going to go ahead and save my subscription. Now you can see that this is my subscription information for Cooking Lights. At this stage, I could go ahead, if I needed to, I could edit the record, I could edit, edit the item, I could go back and edit the subscription if I needed. My next step would be that I could receive this issue, this February issue of Cooking Light. So this is the button I would click for Receive. And it is saying my volume 30, number 2, published on February 1st, was expected on Feb February 2nd, February 1st, I'm going to say that that has arrived. I'll go ahead and enter this information, this item information for my library. And click Save. Now Koha has already pre-populated the next issue that should be arriving and when it should arrive. If I click back over to my subscription, I'm going to get back to my subscription details. And at this point, I can go over and see what the bib record looks like with that item received. So I can see my bib record plus that item that I've received. And in this subscription tab, I can actually see the information about my serial subscription. I could click back over to subscription details and I could receive the next months. At this point I actually could see what it looks like in the OPAC for my patrons and I can see my cooking light subscription, I can see that subscription tab and I can see the, the holdings. This wraps up our subscription information for the Koha. This tutorial has been is a production of Bywater Solutions. Thank you very much.